What's up? What's going on, Pisces? Trying a new setup right now. Let's see how it goes. What are the messages for Pisces? All right, quick and to the point. What's going on with Pisces? God and just the universe. What's going on with Pisces? Messages that will help Pisces at this time. Messages for Pisces, okay. Ha, ah, beautiful. Pisces, okay, we got one more. You see that? One more that doesn't want to go in the deck, so I'm gonna pull it. All right. We'll save this as like a little surprise, okay? All right, so let's get into this reading, Pisces. Uh, quickly, I wanna shout out to everyone who has purchased the Pisces Guidance deck. I truly appreciate you guys. I do still have some left in stock. If you're interested, the link will be below, okay? I'll be pulling a card later in the read, all right? So let's get into this reading right here from the Everyday Hero. Um, we got the Seven of Wands in the reverse, Nine of Swords in the reverse and at the bottom here we got the four of wands all right a lot of fiery energy here on the table um all right point blank period pisces i feel like you're overcoming a lot of obstacles here all right a lot of um heartache betrayal sleepless sleepless nights all that jazz um you're over it you're done with it the nine of swords here it's something that's still not sitting well with you but you're coping through it like you are working through whatever issues you're having if you're having trouble sleeping all right a lot of you guys could be dealing with that in your own way um there's something that's not sitting well with you yeah something's not and something's not sitting well with your soul your spirit your psyche is something it's like you're getting worked up over the smallest thing pisces because Oh, I don't know. You guys could be very close to giving up on something too, okay? With four of wands at the bottom here, I feel like you could be very close to giving up on a marriage or a love connection. Maybe some of you guys are just so over love. You're so fearful of the possibility of partnership and, and true romance and love coming into your life. You're fearful of that, you know, with the nine of swords here, the seven of wands. It's like you kind of have given up on that, that hope. All right, but something's going to, oh, Pisces, with this four of wands here up right at the bottom, I'm feeling like, I mean, it's definitely given 11-11 twin flame vibes. I haven't even spoke the words twin, twin flames in so long because it's just like for what, you know, like <laughs> people will just miss understand what twin flames are all about and it doesn't it, it's like romanticized to this point where you think you have to endure a whole bunch of bullshit to be with someone in this lifetime and you know you don't have to go through hell to get to heaven all right but i feel like a lot of you guys have already been through that hell and you just feel like you don't even see heaven it's not even an option for you you've totally given up on the idea it makes you very fearful to even think about giving someone else a chance or you know building up some sort of hope for some sort of fairy tale romantic ending all right but with the four of wands here um yeah god is telling you don't give up too soon all right a lot of y'all are ready to give up on that but don't because there's some sort of divine partnership some sort of divine union that's going to be very well balanced all right so that means spiritually on point you know um in the physical material sense on point all right the four of wands is not just a, a union you know romantically but this is a partner this is someone who is your equal you see this card we got two um you know poles or trees but they're equal in height um two on this side two on that side all right and i feel like this home this ribbon it's it's marking the beginning of something, you know, the ending of something here, but the beginning of something new, um, a home, a, a life, something to celebrate. All right. There's there's a celebratory period here that's approaching Pisces, but I don't think that you even realize that. OK, I don't think that you. Um, oh, it's so funny because you know how when you let go of something and they say like when you let go of something if, if it comes back that's how you know that it's really real and you know when you just are something and you are radiating that energy you're going to attract it without chasing it and i feel like a lot of you guys have not only stopped chasing um something that you used to romanticize and and, and really think about 
not only did you stop chasing it, you stopped thinking about it altogether, all right? Some of you guys, it could be pretty pessimistic where you're just like, uh, I don't even believe in that whole love thing. Like, I don't believe in all that. Like, it doesn't work out, you know, that way in real life, blah, blah, blah. But there's something coming up here, I feel, with the Four of Wands that's going to surprise you. It's going to be a reason to celebrate. There's going to be a marriage. Some of you guys could be heading into um, weddings. Maybe it's not Maybe it's not your wedding, Pisces, but it is something that you need to take note of because even if you are attending a wedding or going to a wedding, um, this could be you know your millionth wedding or whatever, but you are still super close to you know having that in your life. Um, one day if that's what you desire okay that's why it keeps popping up in your reality um it may not be you walking down the aisle just yet but with the four of wands here you know spirit is telling me to tell you to tell all of us shit don't give up on whatever it is that you are hoping for all right even some of you guys who are already in partnerships maybe you feel like you're just with someone, but you're not really in partnership with this person, okay? I feel like there's going to be a new door opening, some sort of understanding, very equally yoked, okay? Like a very good balance, give and take. And, you know, your your relationship will ascend to a level of real, true partnership, okay? Let's see what this um, last card is that wanted to come out. Wow, we got the Six of Swords, and it's in the reverse, so... This could be somebody who um, you have walked away from. Like I said, I feel like more, more, um, like it, I don't feel like this is as literal with the Six of Swords, like you actually are coming back to something. I feel like you have stepped away from an idea. Yeah, because we got the Swords here. So it's just like the Six of Swords energy in the reverse. It's like a part of you decided because relationships um and partnership didn't work out for you in the past you decided to move forward past that energy and i feel like now with the six of swords coming in the reverse you're starting to revisit this idea in your head all right this is not intended to be a love reading and i'm not probably going to make the caption lovey-dovey because i think spirit knows that like you've been dodging that message okay a lot of you guys aren't even listening to love readings right now it's not in your psyche it's not what you're thinking about you don't even want it all right and the crazy all right y'all my memory card was full um <laughs> cut that message out right but what i think i was saying before i got rudely interrupted um yeah the funny part about you distancing your distancing damn can i say that word distancing yourself from the idea of like romance and all that it's like because you have separated yourself from that you are attracting it to you now tenfold all right something is going to appear in your life pisces that you could have quite possibly given up on all right and it may circle back around to you in a new way a new a new form all right i'm, I'm getting like it's not going to be your usual all right this is going to surprise you but it's going to be perfect for you. All right. Can we clarify this? All right. Wow. Eight of Cups in the reverse. Like, I didn't want to say somebody walking back towards you, but this is definitely either you wanting to walk back towards, you know, your emotionalness with the cups here um, or walk back towards someone that you walked away from. We got the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. The Hermit, Virgo energy. Page of Pentacles, Reverse, and Seven of Pentacles in the Reverse, okay? So, I'm getting a lot of energy of giving up, lazy energy. You walked away from a lot of people. When I say lazy, I'm not... I just feel like this whole theme of this reading right now is about... Um, it, it's about connections, I feel, and it's about things that you've given up on Pisces. You've given up on some hopes, some dreams, some fairy tales, and spirit is about to shake things up, okay? I'm getting shake the table. Spirit's about to, about to shake the table so that you recognize that a lot of these things is not too late for you to have them in your life, okay? Right now, you could be feeling like you don't wanna go towards much. A lot of y'all are in isolation with the hermit energy, all right? So you're isolating yourself from people, places, things, families, emotions, okay? Sit in this time, sit in this energy because I'm not forgetting about the four of wands that was upright. 
Okay, I feel like there's something very stable, very strong, very compassionate, very real coming in for you, Pisces. And this period of isolation, this period of you kind of feeling like there's a lack, but you don't even want to feel the lack, like you're fine without whatever you don't have. It's going to, it's it's attracting more into you, okay? Um, so go with the motions, go with the flow. And if you're feeling like you want to isolate yourself right now, you know, sit in that energy until it's time for you to move. And you'll know when it's time for you to move, all right? The hermit has been tapping into spirituality, tapping into the purpose of it all. So this time that you've taken a step back from people, places, and things, it's not in vain. You know, this time is, is turning you into a better version of yourself. It's making you understand things at a higher level of consciousness, okay? This Eight of Cups in the reverse, I can't get over it. It's definitely a lot of energy of, you know, especially with the Six of Swords in the reverse too from earlier. It's energy of people like regretting their decisions of walking away people are revisiting ideas from the past okay emotions from the past options choices that you had in the past maybe you are very much so contemplating those things wondering if you did the right thing um and definitely revisiting emotions revisiting why you felt the way you felt why some cups ran out you know what i'm saying why the connection wasn't what you thought it was when you thought it was um a lot of clarity you're looking for clarity okay also, you guys could be spending a lot of money right now. Maybe your bank account is not where it needs to be. It's probably not where it is on the usual, but it's okay because I feel like I feel like you're isolating yourself. You could be taking a break from working just to get your mind right. All right. And that's going to bring in even more abundance to you because I don't feel like you're chasing it, Pisces. Okay. But definitely watch the spending. Definitely try to save your money where you can save it. Okay. But there's a lot of understanding that you're coming to here. All right. Spiritual understanding. You're going to try, you're going to finally understand, you know, this journey that you were on, why you were on um, the path that you've been on and what it's leading to. Everything is finally like going to click for you. It's like, aha, it all makes sense. Finally. All right. Let's get into, oh, let's get into Pisces RS. Pisces guidance deck. All right, if you're interested in receiving it, the link will be below. All right, so what are the messages for Pisces? Oh, wow, we got that rebel again, but it's in the reverse here. Clarify this. We got release in the reverse. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. And we got go with the flow in the reverse, y'all. This is crazy because this release in the reverse is definitely what a lot of this theme is. It's like, you know, Things are coming back to you. When you let something go and it comes back, that's how you truly know it's meant to be. That's how you truly know it's authentic, it's real. Um, and I feel like that's what you've done. You released some ideas, maybe some ideals that you had about your life, about you know where you see yourself or you thought you see yourself, releasing you know your emotions, withdrawing. I feel like you guys have withdrawn from your from yourself emotionally with all this water energy in the reverse okay it's almost like you would withdrawn from feeling a lot of things but you know you can't a zebra really can't change their stripes all right and a fish can't change their uh fins you know so you can try to withdraw withdraw from that emotion but eventually um you're gonna feel it and and things are going to become overwhelming probably before they become more stable all right. I feel like that's why you're withdrawing um, with the hermit energy. But spirit is telling you to go with the flow. It may be very hard right now. You feel like you're kind of stagnant or stuck or you just don't want to move. You don't want to go with the flow right now. Um, and that's just because you're coming to terms with some things. All right. So right now you could be kind of introverted Pisces, um, which is odd, especially for this time of year, this season depending on where you are in the world. But I feel like you're going to get into your own swing of things in the, you know, eventually as time goes on, as you, as you start to gain more understanding of, you know, why some things happen for you, why you made the moves you made, why other people made the moves they made, you're going to start to want these desires that you once gave up on. All right. Spirit is going to start to show you little signs, little signs, little signs, little symbols, little nudges within you that you shouldn't give up on whatever it is that you're 
contemplating giving up on. All right. So just stay true. Hold on to the vision. Hold on to the light, Pisces. It's guiding you. You're being guided. And, you know, you're probably not going to get the whole um, plan up front. You're probably just going to get one little piece of it. And then you'll get another little piece of it and another little piece of it. And eventually, when you turn around and look behind you, you'll see that you've come a very long way. All right, so don't give up on whatever vision or hope or dream or something you truly, truly want and desire. Don't give up on it, Pisces. This is your uh, warning right now. This is your, your message right now to hold true to that vision and keep going for whatever it is that you are desiring, all right? So Pisces, I truly, truly hope this message helped you. A little bit of long-windedness, y'all, but that's how I'm feeling today. I'm feeling real lovey-dovey, all right? So... I truly hope this message helped you in some way, shape, or form. Please let me know if it did. If you're interested in the Pisces Guidance deck, da, 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 the link will be below. All right. Thank you guys so much. Talk to you later. Bye.